Aaron Burnett out front. Weeknights at 7, only on CNN. The government really wanted high turnout. They wanted it to make a point to the world, and they're going to report that they got it. And I think it's fair to describe it here, that people felt patriotism and they felt pressure when it came to voting. Here's what we saw. The line started early, with people waiting in the boiling sun to cast their vote. This polling station, a mosque, transformed for the day. Here's how it worked. Voters must bring their national ID card and birth certificate to vote. A utility bill just doesn't cut it here. The vote has two parts. Yes. On the left, we write the names of the person who comes here to, to vote. Okay, name, surname, the date of birth, national code, the name of the city, the name of father, and these things. Okay, this and one. This here is where I fill out for president. For president, yes. FAR is in charge of this polling station and insists it's practically impossible for the government to know who a voter picked. So we can't find that this is for the, this person, okay? You, you can't find that we sh out. We, we, can, we can't find that out. Okay. The majority of votes at this middle class polling station seem to be for the mayor of Tehran. Mohammed and his son Faisal came home from Kuwait to vote for him. Can you tell me who you decided to vote for? Oh, Mr. Kalibov. Mr. Kalibov. He's a very good man. I love him. Yes. He's a great man. He did change the city. The Supreme Leader's words influenced some people. High turnout for election will dash enemies' hopes was his front page headline in the Tehran Times. Maybe this headline is why the people we talk to who aren't voting wouldn't talk about it on camera. They say they voted before and nothing's changed. So what's the point? It wasn't just Mayor Kalabov who got a lot of buzz today. Another name we heard a lot of, reform candidate Hassan Rouhani. When we visited Tehran's Tushal neighborhood north of the city, some of his younger supporters were enjoying their day off in the mountains. Did you vote today? Yes, I did. You voted, and who for? Uh, for Rouhani. Rouhani? Yeah, the, this one. That and the purple one. <laughs> yeah. The purple nail. <laughs> yeah, the purple man. But Elham wasn't hopeful. Yeah. She told me she doesn't think Rouhani will win. We wrapped up our day at this polling station in a conservative neighborhood of Tehran. And we did find some people voting for the most conservative candidate, Saeed Jalili. Leila Zare told me why she voted Jalili. Hijab. Because of the hijab, God willing, he will make it stricter. Still, even the most ardent supporters all told us they believe this election will go to a runoff. <laughs>